Rich Barry, you suck. There, that'll teach you. Rich only watched the first 45 seconds. He missed out. Now I'm going to talk about the weather, which will make him stop again, even though it's only going to be for about five seconds, and then I'm going to talk about stuff that isn't the weather, which you would know if you bothered Rich Barry, who aren't even going to probably click on this one anyway. Is it dark in here? There we go. I look like I always look like I'm buffering, like it's one of those 1990s quick time videos. Remember when WCW, towards their dying days, would do entrance videos, and they would purposely make them, they put dropouts in them to make them look like they were quick time videos over the internet? And we laughed at them for that. We didn't know why they did it, and we still don't know why. Actually, you probably don't remember that, but I do. That's why I brought it up. Frank's not watching these either. Frank was the one who kind of made a bigger deal about it to me, but it stuck with me. Uh, anyway, Thursday, 6.24 p.m., 90 degrees. 90 degrees, really? Ugh. It did not rain, by the way. All the rain we were promised went south. And it's not going to rain tonight either, so... I really wish I'd mowed the lawn a couple days ago when it was cooler. It's supposed to be cool by Sunday, which is good, because Sunday we're going to go to the mini app, mini, mini, what is it? I don't have the tickets in front of me. The Minnesota Food Truck Fair. It's in downtown Minneapolis, and we get unlimited samples from food trucks. I don't know how much food that will end up being, but... Mm. Cheers. So that's the big thing we're looking forward to. It's also the first thing I ever did one of those uh, coupon style, Groupon style deals for. I got half price on VIP tickets, which is actually separate from the samples because the VIP tickets are for beer. So unlimited beer, and I think there's like a special Juicy Lucy sample included in that package. And uh, if we're really lucky, there's some uh, hard liquor as well, but. You don't want too much of that because it'll kill your ability to enjoy food. Or so I've heard. But what else are you going to do for five hours? Well, I could have watched the Olympics, but I forgot the Olympics were on when I bought the tickets. So, anyway, leaving the house is always a good deal. But it's going to be hot today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Ugh. So when will I mow the lawn? Uh, maybe Sunday night. I can't think that far ahead, man. It's Thursday. I can hardly think ahead to tomorrow. I did think far enough ahead to put in uh, a day off on Monday. I have been here so often, it's getting to be a habit, and it's, it's a bad habit, because here at Semantic, you're only allowed to bank 240 hours of paid time off. And if you actually hit that six weeks, you don't get any more until you take some away. So I'm going to take eight hours on Monday. I actually have almost, uh, I'm pretty close to 240. I had no idea. I just show up. I've been here so long that I amass paid time off at a pretty decent clip. If you've been working here for more than five years, you get uh, 22 days off. Good gig, right? And, and you know, when I'm here, I barely work, so I'm, it's amazing. But I have almost 30 days in the bank. That's not good. I don't know how that happened. I guess it's just showing up. I was going to take some time off for my birthday, and I couldn't because we had a big release coming up, and I had to document it, and I had to upload some stuff. And I haven't taken any time off. July, usually, again, I take time off around the 4th. I try to take a week off, and I haven't taken a week off at all during summer. Man, I've been wasting my summer. Now, I'm going to take two weeks off at the end of August because that's when the state fair is in town. And I expect that there will be a lot of uh, sleeping in and going to the state fair then. I hope. That's the plan anyway. I haven't bought my state fair tickets. I need to do that. But none of that is why you're here. Or is it? I'm a little late because I watched, I actually left this desk, went out to the break room and watched, eh, not a lot, but enough to really get the flavor of it, the USA basketball game. How about that, huh? 83-point win. Smashed the record for points scored in an Olympic basketball game. 156 points. And that's in 40 minutes. 
It's not 48 like in the NBA, folks. And they also smashed the record for three-point shots made. It was 13. I think they had like 29. They doubled it and then some. It's amazing. Amazing. Kevin Love is one of ours. I'm kind of looking forward now to that, what I hope is going to be a U.S.-Russia uh, game. I guess it all depends how it shakes out. They're still in qualifying, so I don't know who's going to go where. And the real question is, is there going to be a badminton-style tanking going on to try to avoid America until the gold medal game? Uh, who is that going to be? Spain and somebody. I, somebody Somebody started the conspiracy theory. It was just plausible enough to make sense. But let's face it. If you had a choice between meeting America in the quarterfinals or meeting them in the gold medal game, which path do you want to take? But that's enough basketball. I did get that comment from Rich Berry. 45 seconds. Weather, really. Judging one of these on the first 45 seconds, I mean, often the first 45 seconds is me making sure the camera's working. So you got to hold out for a little more than that. Who's paging me at 6.30? Aww. Kim did not see any basketball because she was working. We'll make sure to catch the replay. The parts I saw, I mean, not competitive, but exciting. I mean, it's what you want, right? It's probably better live. But nothing else is on, really. The problem is that the, the prime viewing time for us corresponds with the prime time uh, NBC tape delayed showing, during which they will not put anything on any of the other channels except the 24x7 soccer channel and the 24x7 basketball channel. So we'll see if they... They usually don't schedule the USA replay during prime time either. They'll replay other games. There are actually some pretty good games from what I saw. There are a couple one-point games, but I didn't leave the desk to see any of them, so I don't know anything about them. I had a comment on YouTube from Otto who said, and I don't know if he's being serious or not. That's part of the problem with Otto. If it weren't for the internet, I probably never would have heard that the I-35W bridge collapsed. I don't think any of my family or offline friends have ever mentioned it. Presumably, sometime over the past five years, you would have tried to drive and found out that there was a big detour. I'm guessing. I don't know. Otto, you don't get out much, do you? You're very, you seem to be in a very insular world. And you may have all the money you need, but you still got to get out and live life, buddy. I am the last person to be offering advice on that. But... I mean, you, you, you're you almost taking it as a point of pride that you weren't watching TV or reading the newspaper or you don't keep up on any news at all. And there's more to life than wrestling, my friend. Well, wrestling and uh, online gaming and Star Trek and that's about everything you do, right? Okay. Comment on the W from Greg, Pi Man. I was positive you weren't going to remember to switch the number. I switched the number in advance. Did you notice? I almost had enough left to make a USA, but I'm too short. So I kind of merged some together. It kind of looks like USA if you squint, or maybe by the time YouTube smashes the picture, it'll actually look like USA instead of... Well, it doesn't look like much of anything right now. Again, three of these... Three more hellos are in the mail, and if only I ever got to the post office, i got to get up earlier, or leave earlier. As to the shout-out from Friday, my streak is still intact, Pi Man continues. We've been away at camp with no internet for a bit, so I watched episodes 135 through 140 all in a row. Why? An hour of CRZ talking. Why? There's got to be something. I hope you're doing something else while that's going on. You can't devote all your time. I mean, boggles my mind. When you were looking at your stats on Friday, I wasn't included because I hadn't watched yet either, so you can bump those up by one now. Well, okay. I find these entertaining enough to want to keep my OCD intact and have the complete set. Thank you, I guess. I, I'm going to prove you wrong one of these days. You'll be so bored that you will stop. But 
I need to stop. Uh, I'm at 10 minutes again. How did that happen? I don't know. It's all that basketball talk, I guess. Hey, it's like 93 days until opening tip-off at Target Center for the regular season. Shved, Kirilenko, Brandon Roy, Kevin Love, Nikola Pekovic, Ricky Rubio, uh, smiling but not playing because he's still injured, but almost ready to play. Man, I am looking forward to the Timberwolves, and I shudder to think how much they're going to jack up the prices after this season. But that's a year away, and a title away. Now, let's not get crazy. All right. Big finish to the week. We will end not with a bang, but with a whimper. Tune in tomorrow and see what I whimper about.